guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I painted this vase a bit ago. I will put the link to that video down in the description. This is what it looks like all dry. It is super pretty, I love it. Um, the colors do, however, dull when they dry, which is not as exciting. So I'm gonna now show you how I seal this. And then um, also it just makes the colors pop. So once again, putting it back on the cup there. Um, I'm going to seal this with resin and I'm using Stone Coat Countertops uh, Countertop Epoxy, which has heat protection, UV protection and whatnot. And then it also just uh, will protect it if you wanna wash it and whatnot. You do not need a lot. I just put a little bit on the top. It's already pre-mixed. Um, and then the key thing is to make sure that the vase gets 100% covered. I generally like to do this with my hands. You could use a paintbrush or whatever else you want to use. Um, and you can seal it with other things, absolutely. I used to use the Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray. So you'll see some of my earlier videos where I use that to seal it with. The problem with that is that in some climates, it can get sticky. So it could stick to your shelf or whatever, um, or to other paint, like if you set it on a painted surface. So I switched over to doing all my vases with resin. And also I just think it, it makes them really durable and it just makes it pop. So I really like doing that. I have not tested other enamels. I do have, um, a f or other sprays rather. I do have a few to test. So I'll be doing that coming up. But first I just wanted to show you how I do this with resin. All right, so that is now fully covered. I am gonna torch it to make sure we get any air bubbles out and then we'll come back when it's all dry and I will show you the final product Plus, uh, when you do resin this way, it does get some drips around the rim. So I'll show you what I do about that as well. Okay, so we're back. This is all dry. So let's see how it looks with the resin. See how nice and shiny that is and how the colors really just pop. Um, you do get these little resin drips doing it this way. So what I do about that is I just take some sandpaper and they are really easy to sand off. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, and there you go. That is all you have to do with it. Now, of course, sanding that does leave these little parts where it's not super shiny here anymore. I would not worry about that. I like to leave a little bit there because it helps it grip to the vase. If you sand it all off, you're gonna get a bit of a less of a grip. And it's such a small area, it doesn't matter that it's not all shiny like resin. If you really wanted to, you could probably take just like a dab of resin and put it back on there. I don't feel that need, I feel like it is just perfectly fine without it. Um, so there you go, and this is now fully washable. Uh, it's, you know, you can, I wouldn't put it in a dishwasher, but I don't think anyone puts vases in a dishwasher anyways, because you have like yucky flour crud in there, but you can definitely, definitely hand wash these, and the paint is not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna be extremely durable, extremely long lasting. It won't stick to anything like your counters or whatever um yeah so this is how I seal my vases currently there are pl plenty of other things that you can I'm sure put on your vases if you have something that you really love to seal your vases with besides resin let me know down let me know down in the comments I'm very interested and I will be doing some experiments coming up with some other ways to seal them but for now this is how I seal my vases so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.